this tutorial, we're going to look at creating enemies and have them uh, follow you and engage you in battle. Uh, we'll also go over some of the basic uh, basic instructions on how to create a battle. Uh, the first thing we'll want to look at here is uh, the database, and once you have that open, we'll look at the enemies and the troops tab. Uh, the first thing that you need to know is that the enemy list here uh, is not usable for creating battles. Uh, basically, this is just where you create new monsters and edit the statistics of others, um, and once you've done that, you can then add them to a troop which you can fight, and a troop can consist of one monster or 70. I mean, it's really just up to you. Um, but now that we've made that distinction clear, we'll move over to the troops. Uh, you'll see on this screen that I've created a demo troop here, uh, just one that's uh, I've already taken care of that will fight. Uh, to make a new one, uh, pretty much on any of these tabs, you'll go to change maximum, uh, just increase it by one or two or however many you need, and then it'll give you a blank template to work with. Uh, the first thing uh, that we'll check here in the demo troop is the list on the side here. Uh, this is where you add enemies to the troop. You can also move them around as uh, to set how they'll show up on the map. Uh, now, once you've done that, uh, the troop is ready to fight. So uh, you'll notice down here I've added a condition uh, when the main actor's HP is 50% or below. Uh, it'll show some text with him saying, ah, I'm hurt. So uh, that's just a nifty little uh, tool that you can use here to make your battles a little more, uh, a little more immersive. Uh, here you can change the condition, uh, the turn number, the enemy HP, the actor HP, if a switch is on, things like that, and basically you can just use your event page within the battle. Um, so it's a pretty handy little tool, and uh, we'll go ahead and move on here. So now we'll actually look at the monster event. Okay, uh, the first thing that we'll take a look at here is the actual graphic. Uh, of course, you're just going to go in and select what your uh, what the sprite will actually look like. And once you've done that, uh, we'll check the movement here. Uh, now, this monster is created so that uh, when you enter the map, it will automatically approach your character, and that can be changed right here. You can give it a fixed move route, a uh, random approach custom. Uh, so on this one we'll want to use approach. Uh, you do not set the move route because it's constantly going to find the fastest route to you. Uh, the next thing we'll look at here is the speed and frequency. Uh, the frequency, generally if you are having a monster chase you, you'll want to set this to the highest, which just means it will move as frequently as it can. Uh, so once you have that set you can actually give your monster a certain speed. Uh, for this I've set it to fast. Uh, now, as far as the trigger, uh, you can set it at action button, but basically when the enemy runs into you, you would actually have to press enter to engage it, so it's really not very effective. Uh, the player touch is for if you run into the monster. Well, if he's chasing you, uh, generally it's going to be the event running into you, so uh, the trigger we'll use here is actually event touch. Uh, and So anytime this event touches you, this list of event commands will play through. Uh, so once we have all of this set up here, we'll go ahead and move on. Uh, the list of event commands, all that we have here is uh, to play a sound effect, which is a monster noise, uh, followed by some periods and a text, uh, and then we go to the battle processing, and I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. Uh, here you select the troop that you want to fight. Uh, once again, notice that it's not individual enemies, it's actually the troops that you will face. So we'll go to Demo Troop, and you can set a couple of options here, such as Can You Escape, or Continue Even If You Die. Uh, so once that's in there, you'll turn a self switch on. Uh, very simple, self switch A is on, and then we'll move to our second event page. Uh, the only thing you have to worry about on this page is making sure that it's set when self switch A turns on. Now, the purpose of the second page is so that once you defeat the monster and the event runs, uh, that it will actually just come to the second page, give you a blank graphic with nothing. So basically, once you kill the monster, it will actually disappear and stay gone. Uh, so at this point, that should be everything. We'll go ahead and give it a uh, go ahead and give it a play test here and show you how this works. Okay, so we have the monster spazzing out and chasing us down. Uh, we'll kind of run away from it here, see if we can get away. Uh, it's only on fast, so it is. Uh, it, it, you have a pretty good chance of getting away, uh, but we'll go ahead and let it get us now. Okay. We'll go ahead and kill this monster. 
I had to edit the stats down. It would have absolutely boom roasted me otherwise. Okay, you'll notice the monster disappears. Uh, you can't run into it. The event is completely gone. You don't have to worry about it. And I've also added another map so that we can actually leave, walk around down here, explore a little bit, do nothing, uh, go back up, and the event is still gone. Uh, so I hope this, I uh, hope you learned something from this video. Uh, of course, there's multiple ways to actually engineer battles and monsters on the screen. This is just one way. Uh, but from this video, you can probably figure out the rest, uh, such as uh, changing the way the monster behaves and things like that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and close out of this, and uh, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.